Hi everyone, welcome back again to my channel. How are we all doing today? My name is Tina. So if you're coming across my channel for the first time, please do want to subscribe. So I have a notification also if you don't find the right important and you will also give this video a massive thumbs up. This is what some South Africans are doing on TikTok. So I saw this on TikTok. I decided to bring it for you guys here so we will talk about it. It's actually getting out of hand at this point. So this is Chidema Adichina during her crowning moment at Miss Universe Nigeria and basically Beside her is actually Nigeria Minister of Arts and Culture. So they thought it's Chidema's mom. So they went ahead to wrap two of them in South African prison clothes. That is what some of you are doing on TikTok. Nigeria Minister. Look at her here. This is her pictures. This is Nigerian Minister of Arts and Culture. I also did a shot on that some time ago when you first started carrying that rumor. Now, you are talking about Chidema mom, Chidema mom. People don't even know what she looks like. There is no picture of her anywhere. You don't know what she looks like. So you can actually call anybody Chidema's mom at this point if you can refer to our minister as Chidema's mom. If you watch the show, which is also online because some of you are too lazy to even do research before you put out something out here, then somebody will go and do research and you will come and bash the person under the comment section. You are too lazy to even do research because if you watch the show or go check out the show, which is still online on YouTube here because it was streamed live, this woman also gave a speech. They introduced her as Nigerian Minister of Arts and Culture. But no, you won't do it because too lazy. You must come out and show how you no know, get sense. Like one sense, no day your head. You must come out and tell us that ah, I no get sense. So look at me here. I no get sense because I checked out the page of the person that put it is a matured man put this together and put it out here didn't even think of the consequences of what he's doing didn't even think of what will happen if this is not true how do you feel so comfortable to put out news that is not true here on the internet you don't even care you even watermark it you even put your you even put your face your watermark you watermark the video oh my god oh my god when i look at some of you sometimes you know when people come out here and bash south africans i'm like okay fine you guys should leave them there let's play the big boy here let's be the bigger person on this all these things that is going on but some of us some of you have shown us that there is no even reason for us to even be the big person because ah no remember she mass recent interview when she was asked if her parents was there in mexico with her this is her answer this is what she answered. Were they there in Mexico? No, they were not in Mexico, but they were definitely watching from South Africa. It was such an emotional one for them because I literally video called them and they were so happy, they were so proud and they were crying because they were like, oh my word, you've been through so much and we never thought that you were this strong and you still wanted to do this because there were so many times where they kept on saying, like, just leave it. Like, don't worry, better things will come. And I was like, listen, there's nothing better that can come. This is my moment. And they were just really so proud of me. And why you were in Mexico, uh, South Africa? I believe you heard her. Okay, let's say you did not hear her. Let me repeat it again. Her parents are in South Africa. They're watching from South Africa. Her parents are still there. And you guys are going ahead talking about Nigeria giving her parents a... Uh, diplomatic passport to come to nigeria nigeria is this nigeria is that look let me tell you guys let me just break it to you guys you see this you see this gist you see this story you see this case your government is not even interested in it because if they are interested in it they would have followed it up it's just people that is putting the agenda online they are not interested in it because they know that identity theft happen every day they know how corrupt your home office home affair is they know all those things they know that it happens every day i saw a a home affair officer who collected 20 rand from someone and actually issued someone someone essex someone essex identity to that person this one just happened because I, the news was posted here i'm going to screenshot it and put it because the news was posted here yesterday two days ago i saw it so the government is not even interested in this case because they know it is a normal thing that happened in your country it's a normal thing it's a normal thing you people that are talking online, you must have sold your own or your your your, your mother, your father, your uncle that is working in, in home affair must have sold somebody's own before. Is it normal? The government is not even interested because if they are interested, they would have found to the mass mom and found to the mass dad. They are still there in South Africa, and you guys are going ahead like this is very disrespectful at this point. You see this picture, and whoever did it is very very disrespectful. Nigerians, if you are watching this, I want us to share this video so it will get to the person 
that is supposed to see it i'm going to put the watermark here so you guys okay the video is watermarked you can see the name of the channel i got it from or the page i got it from everything is there let's share this video so that people will see it because it's getting out of hand it's very very disrespectful if people don't have respect in your country just open your mouth and type any nonsense you see online you guys should just keep off it's enough already it's enough already and it's getting out of hand if your government decide not to keep quiet about it you guys should also shut up and go and sleep if your government decide to not do anything about it it's their business it's none of our business at this point the girl is already in nigeria she's in nigerian her mother who is in uh, mozambique and her father is in is there in south africa so you guys should look for them if your government decide not to look for them whose problem is it whose problem is it at this point whose problem is that they are not interested they have better things to chase not identity theft that they know that it happens every day because 90 percent of your home office officers are corrupt very very corrupt so they know that this thing happen every, every, every day. A brilliant and a smart person that you are, you should be able to verify information. Little information you say online, please verify them. That is why when we do videos, we put pictures, we put videos to tell you that this thing we are saying, we saw it somewhere and we have verified it. We don't just go ahead and put out information. You don't just go ahead and wrap Nigerian Minister of Culture and Tourism on hey jesus on south african prison clothes calling her she that she didn't matter she she didn't man at the china's mom that she needs to be in prison no some of you watch the show and you people can testify to it people that watch the show that night can also testify to it the information is online here but some people are just lazy to type type about it you know type you cannot just be putting out information that you're not sure of online with your full chest even you want ahead to even put what i mark with your full chest you're putting information wrong information very wrong information online and you're watermarking it even paste your watermark and that won't even pay me pass some of you say eh? oh if i look at some of you sometimes say i'm like no 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 this is not even people you should deal with this is not people somebody should be dealing with at this point seriously let me know your thoughts in the comment section please stop putting information that is wrong and that is definitely not cheating mass mom that is nigeria minister of arts and culture find out online it's online everything is out here google is your best friend do your research don't gonna be posting fake news fake news will land you to where you don't know south africans fake news will land you to where you don't know thank you so much guys i will see you in my next one please subscribe if you're new here and don't forget to turn the post notification on so no one have put out a new video also give this video a very massive thumbs up thank you so much for your constant support on this channel i love you guys and i will definitely see you in my next one bye bye